Detroit's entrepreneurial hub, Tech Town, is back in business, but reopening safely was no easy task. In today's Rebound Detroit, 7 Action News reporter Amira David gives us an inside look at the big changes and how it's breathing new life into the businesses that depend on it to thrive. Amira? That's right, Carolyn, Dave. For the 200 plus entrepreneurs that depend on Tech Town, not having a place to meet, to think, and to grow in the early days of the pandemic was hard. But thankfully, Tech Town is on the rebound, along with the businesses that make it whole. Stepping into Detroit's Tech Town. Thank you. Feels like stepping into the new normal. A temperature check at a touch-free thermal scanner, a mandatory COVID-19 waiver, and new filters that continuously pump outside air into the building. All answers to a unique challenge. We have uh, a very transitional space, so you might be co-working in one area for part of the day, then having a cup of coffee, you know, in the kitchen area. Turning an open format co-working space into one that's safe while keeping the spirit and heart of this entrepreneurial hub intact. A place where you can come to interact with other small businesses and entrepreneurs and learn from each other and work together. A walk around the recently opened business incubator and you'll find newly minted directional arrows that ensure one-way traffic. We've added these plexiglass dividers that are, um, they're movable so you can shift them around as needed. I would love to have some coffee. Even free barista style coffee to limit public contact with typically high touch, high germ areas. Every measure about survival of a working space critical to those who depend on it. Our business involves a lot of resources that we can't necessarily split apart virtually. Sean Carroll and Rami Habib are the biomedical engineers turned entrepreneurs who founded Honey Cure. The first scientifically backed all natural veterinary wound care product in the market. A blend of Manuka honey and essential oils, the wound care ointment is made in part in Tech Town's offices. So when the pandemic hit, they lost critical manufacturing space. We had to move our production uh, back into our homes. And to make matters worse. Sales basically just shut off. With many of the 300 plus pet supply stores selling Honey Cure forced to close by the pandemic. It was very difficult, it was very stressful, but we survived. And now they're on the mend, relieved to be back, leaning on Tech Town's resources in a slightly upgraded home away from home. Tech Town has offered so many services to us and helped us survive in so many small different ways. Even in, in a, a global pandemic, the need for a strong network within a community for those small businesses and entrepreneurs is it's essential. Essential indeed. And in a few weeks, Tech Town will be opening to outside visitors looking to maybe reserve meeting spaces. So keep that in mind if you're looking. As for Rami and Sean, they are focused on Honey Cure and even have jump started a second business during the pandemic packaging hand sanitizer. And to find out a lot more about their company, you can visit our website, wxyz.com. For the rebound, I'm Amira David, 7 Action News.